to allow it in Pittsfield, up to eight ounces. Uh -huh. We're going to go against state and federal law, and we're going to allow it in our town. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. See, we got a, a pumpkin bill in there. It, it asked for everybody. It asked for a kilo for everybody. Oh, the ounce. Imagine giving everybody an ounce of whiskey when prohibition ended. Well, now I'm. Uh, uh, I, if I if I may ask, what what's yeah. the what are you protesting against? Are you protesting against marijuana persecution? I'm sick of it. I'm of German heritage, American of German heritage, and I can't take it no more. They busted my dealer. I know this other person they busted. I'm sick of it. Brecken Sie gut Deutsch? Yeah. No. But, <laughs> so we got, a, we got a petition in Pittsfield to allow it in Pittsfield, up to eight ounces. Uh -huh. We're going to go against state and federal law, and we're going to allow it in our town. And we're going to get the town in trouble. So thanks a lot. So I'm down here trying to tell these guys to pass the pumpkin bill. Treating marijuana almost like a pumpkin. Okay. And yeah. everybody gets a kilo, and the money doesn't go to the general fund. The tax, $30 an ounce, go to Educational Trust Fund. And I assume problem. that your no meth sign is you're, you're indicating that no more, more, meth. more, more, no, mar more my... marijuana means less meth? Well, what happens exactly? No, my son was uh, smoking meth. So I went in front of the dealer where he was smoking it. I went like that. Then after a while, I found out it was coming from Pittsfield, so I went... Then I, my, my weed dealer got busted, so what I did was I, I put on the back more weed, and then I jumped in front of the old home day parade with my no more meth, and when I flashed it, the more weed, everybody goes, yay! You know what I mean? I'm, I said, I'm on to something with this more weed. People are ready to legalize weed. All right, well, what's your yeah. name? My name's Dan Schroth Pimarachi, the stone man. I'm Schroth, which is German, which means I'm not going to watch somebody else get fucked over, and I'm Italian, Primarace means first rock, there's my Lincoln over there, and my podcast in the back, staystonednh.com, I don't have a cell phone or a computer, I got a, a podcast, I got staff. Alright, keep in New Hampshire, yeah. New Hampshire, thanks man. Alright, well thanks for uh, paying attention. Alright, All right. if everybody did that, we wouldn't have to worry about legalizing weed. Well, it would be all It would already be legal. You know what, a kid <laughs> come up to me in Pittsfield and said, when are we going to legal, when's weed going to be legal? I says, never, unless we get it legalized. Never! Well, everything moves slow in New Hampshire. That's yeah. why we have less tyranny than other places. Well, that's true, but you know what? I hate to be a lawbreaker, but I'm running for selectmen, and we're going to take our town to legalizing it in our town. I mean, it's going against state and federal law, and I'm going to have to take a, a, an oath to uphold all state laws. I've been a selectman in my town before. I had to resign because of what? Bullshit. Fifteen years ago. Now I'm ready to try it again. But this time I'm not going to have to resign because of what? So you're not going to take the oath? I'm going to say... I uh, uphold all state laws except marijuana laws. Okay, well, they might see what not happens, let me then. serve. They might not let me serve because yeah. I didn't repeat after them, but I gotta try and I won't serve unless I can be completely honest. You know all what? right. You know what marijuana laws make people? Dishonest. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks. Well, so I gotta go run an errand, but I'll be back at the state house shortly. Uh, and maybe also again in ten years. But uh, I just want to observe that the guy I was just talking to, he's part of the genius of New Hampshire because one of the, one of the things that I have uh, uh, struggled with over the years is that I, you know, I, I ran for rep back in 08, and there would have been an issue if I had had to take the oath to the United States Constitution. I think you have to take one to the U.S. Constitution, but at least the New Hampshire Constitution. And uh, that guy's right on the money. Hardly anyone talks about this, but... Uh, but the fact that you have to swear an oath to these constitutions does, you know, tend to root out people who are concerned about following the the, the oath that they take uh, and don't want to take an oath to a really long document that they might be some part they don't understand or maybe there's some part they disagree with. Now, the government shouldn't just be limited to people who can, who can uh, swear to uphold the crappy federal constitution if, in fact, that's what the, is done in New Hampshire. The, even the New Hampshire constitution, which is a lot better, I mean... Who wants to be? Who, who's absolutely sure they could uphold every single passage? Maybe there's something in there that uh, that's anti-liberty. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite too, at sat.lrn.fm.
That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.